Okay, so in this video, we're going to be discussing how you can make an explain everything um, assignment or an explanation. So doing it in a way so that the actual process does not take a long time for the teacher to look at, which is important. So our goal is to try to keep this somewhat underneath a minute or a minute and a half. Um, what I found is that um, when students are working on a certain problem and they're working things out and they're discussing what they're thinking, um, it'll kind of look like this. So let's, let's use this as an example where it says, um, how would you share five pieces of licorice? What about nine pieces? Today you'll work with a new team to describe how to distribute the, li the licorice fairly among different numbers of people. Your task, for each situation below, explain how to share the licorice fairly among all team members. For each case, represent the amount of licorice each team member will receive with pictures, words, and numbers. So team W has three members and five uh, and gets five pieces of licorice. Team X has five members and nine pieces of licorice. Team Y has six members and ten pieces of licorice. So in the past when I've assigned this to students, here's what they do. And for students who watch this, I don't recommend doing this. What they'll do is they'll press record. And as they're recording, they'll do this. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is to show W, and then I have to, says there's three members, and they get five pieces of licorice. So there's five pieces of licorice, so then I need to make five pieces of licorice. Press the button again, and I'll press the button again. And I'll press the button again. And I'll press the button again. Now I'm going to stop here. And so this is what um, I find what students should do is only show us what's important. And um, I don't want to see every single step along the way. And so this is where it would be important for students to, at times, stop the recording or, stop or pause it. Um, so they'll want to do that so that you don't have that extra fluff in the middle that you don't necessarily need to see. So I'm going to pause it right now and I'm going to add in all the extra details that I need before I start recording. All right, so this is what I would do prior to actually recording. You know, off the screen, I would show my model, I would include my math, you know, and then I'd include some kind of number sentence, which I don't have here. Um, to demonstrate my understanding. So everything would be done prior to recording so that when I actually hit record, I don't have to do the extra steps in between. This keeps it shorter. So I'm going to pretend that I'm a student explaining uh, this part of the problem, which is Team W has three members and gets five pieces of licorice. Okay, so... The first thing we're asked to do is to show Team W, and Team W has three members and five pieces of licorice. The first thing that I did was to show five pieces of licorice. So we have five there. I took each piece of licorice and I cut them into three separate pieces because there's three members. So in red, we have person number one, and person number two is in green, person, uh, sorry, person number three is in blue. Um, so what I did is I took a piece from each person and I said one third plus one third plus one third plus one third plus one third is equal to five thirds or one and two thirds. Or another way to think about this is to say that one third times five is going to be equal to five thirds or one and two thirds. Okay. So, and, and that part. So, um, I was able to do that in, in one minute. Um, that was for the explanation of just part W. So, that would take a little bit longer, I think, you know, for the explanation overall. But what I did is I, I shortened the video in, in, in general, which is important to do. The last thing that students will need to do when they are saving this information as a video is to go to the upper right-hand side so you go up here to this upper right hand side where there is this purple button. This is the export button or the share o button. So if they're going to hit the share o button, they're going to hit export, and then they're going to hit video. And then it'll process and it'll save the video as a whole. Um, and that'll save to the tablet. That 
can be then saved or shared through Google Drive um, or through Google Classroom. And then you as a teacher can go ahead and see what they're thinking is. Anyway, let me know if you have any comments or questions in the comment section below. Have a good one.